Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Has this ever happened to you? I went to go clean my carpets in my truck and this carpet cleaner is out of air. It's completely full. I could feel the liquid in here. It's very heavy, but it's completely out of air. There's nothing coming out of here. Well, I'm going to show you how to fill these aerosol cans with air because for some reason, sometimes the air empties and there's no more propellant. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of different aerosol sprays. And sometimes they just don't spray. And sprays, such as this mass airflow sensor cleaner, are pretty expensive. And it's just a shame to throw out a full or even half full aerosol container just because you're out of propellant. So to refill them, all you need is an air compressor and one of these nozzles. Or one of these nozzles, which fills the air in a tire. If you're going to go to tire nozzle method, you're going to also need a valve stem. Before buying a valve stem, go to your local tire place and ask them if they have any old ones. Because a lot of times they'll give you an old one for free since they're just going to throw them out anyway. So if not, it's only going to cost like a dollar and it'll pay for itself the first time you refill a can. So let's start up the compressor and fill the tank. This will fill to about 140 psi and then shut off. Now that our compressor is filled with air, I have two containers here that are empty. So I'm going to show you the two different methods that you could use depending on what equipment you have. You can see the carpet cleaner is pretty much completely empty. There's no air in it. And then the choke cleaner has a little bit, but it's not as strong as it should be. That stream should be really strong. So we're going to fill both of these. So these cans are filled with a certain PSI of air. And you can check the material safety data sheet, the MSDS, and a lot of times that'll tell you, or just do a Google search. But typically these are filled from anywhere from 90 to 120 PSI. So to be safe, when you do this yourself, look it up. Each can might be different. So on these cans, they say 95 to 115. So I'm going to fill it up at 95. So these gauges here, this is our pressure in the tank, and this is the pressure coming out of our hose. So we want this to be around 90 to 95. So I'm just going to pop this up and then turn it until this increases to about there. Right there is 90, we'll go a little bit more, and that's 95. Now you just push this down to set it, and we're ready to go. Now anything that comes out of here is going to be 95 PSI. Now with our container here, all you have to do is take the lid off, and then these come off just by pulling them straight out. If you can't get them with your fingers, you could use a pliers, but this comes off pretty easy. And then you have this nozzle here, which normally gets pressed down. You can see it goes down like that. And it has a hole in it, and that hole is where you're going to fill it. So in this case, we're using this nozzle that has a hole in it, and we're going to just push it right on top. We're going to line it up, and then push down as we add air. Before we do that, though, always make sure you're using some type of safety glasses, because we're dealing with pressurized air, and stuff could shoot out at your eyes. So I have my safety glasses on, I have this somewhere that I could push down and hold it safely, and I have my hands right here where I could get this pressure on here. I'm going to push down, and then I'm going to add air just like that. There we go. So now I could spray down my carpets like I was planning on doing. And you just saved yourself 5 to $10, depending on how much these cans cost. And this one is full. Like, this is completely full. So the seal must have went bad. It must have leaked. But now we have plenty of compressed air. I mean, I could just keep going. I don't want to saturate my carpets here, but you get the idea. So that's using this method of compressed air. Most people with compressors have one of these nozzles. It's just a normal spray nozzle for dusting off an area or whatever you use it for. The nozzle fits very well on these spray cap nozzles. If it's right on top, again, it could get a little messy. That's why you use your glasses. You could even wrap this with a paper towel if you want. But you just hold it on there straight. You fill it up. Boom. Done. All right, so that was the method using this nozzle. Now let's use the tire gauge, the tire filler. Switch these out. All you have to do, pull the top off. Just pull straight up. Again, same style. All these aerosol cans have the same style top. So here's a valve stem. This is what we want to turn it into. You can see I cut mine just a little bit because we want to be able to get that little copper piece in there to push down on this stem right here. So right on the edge, it's going to be hard to show, but right on the edge there is that copper piece and we're going to get the push down right on the edge so that this gets forced downwards. And when that's forced downwards, 
you can see already it's coming out because there is some pressure in here. When that's forced downwards, it allows the air to get pushed in so we could fill it. Now to cut the valve stem so it goes from this to this, you could use one of these cutters if you don't have a power tool. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use a Dremel with a cutting wheel on it. When you're doing this, the key is to try to keep this as flat as possible so you make a good seal on this piece right here. As always, use your safety goggles, watch your fingers, and we're just going to cut right in here. I'm going to speed this up now and cut this away. Now you can see me taking the valve stem and putting it at the top of this disc and just holding it here. And what that's doing is that's sanding the bottom so it's nice and flat. You can see we got that nice and flat and that's going to make a great seal right against the container right here. That's how you turn a brand new or used valve stem into one of those filler valve stems for these aerosol containers. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to fill this up with air. What you're going to have to do is inside this valve stem you want it to press down on this in here. So ready watch this. I'm on the edge here so I could actually press down and you can see liquid's actually coming out now. So that's what I want. I'm going to push down and as I'm pushing down, have this connected, inject air. Okay, let's fill this up. Again, 95 psi. I'm just going to push down and then I'm going to squeeze this. Good. Just a couple of seconds of that. Get the nozzle back on and let's go try this out. And Look how strong that is now. That's the way it's supposed to be. I'm not going to waste it. But you get the idea. When you're cleaning your carb out, you want pressure. And before, it was just like a little... It was like that. But now, it's nice and strong. So these are two methods that I use to fill up these aerosol containers. One, just the normal spray nozzle that shoots air out. And the other is the valve stem method. Both methods work. It works on most of these aerosol containers. You choose which one you liked better or which one you have the tools to do. And then now you could actually use this stuff instead of throwing it out and letting it go to waste. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button.